Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I have been a professional family therapist for 31 years. During that time, I have worked with hundreds of troubled couples, many of whom either were divorcing or were considering divorce or started the divorce process. In this video, I want to share a couple of things that I learned from these years of exposure to troubled couples. Uh, this video is for people who are considering legal divorce or who are already in a major legal fight with their ex-mate uh, and or uh, people who support such people. I'm especially making this for troubled, hostile, battling parents. In the couples that I've worked with, hundreds of them, all types. Their usual complaints has been disagreements that they could not solve themselves over money and debts, um, household responsibilities, and raising children. In my experience, these are surface issues. They are not the real issues. None of these couples, not one of them, knew the five reasons that people divorce. You may not know them. Test your knowledge now. Before continuing with this video, pause this video, follow this link, and review this other video on the five reasons that most people divorce, psychologically or legally, and come back here. The other video will open in a new window. Now, Notice what you're thinking and feeling. Would you agree that typical divorcing couples and lawyers and many therapists, marital therapists, and divorce court judges and mediators do not know these five reasons? The cost of that is that when um, committed couples finally decide we can't live together anymore. One of them does or both of them does. And they go for help or they go to the mandatory legal system to get legally untied. None of the other people that they bring in on this very difficult process know the real problems. So everybody is focusing on surface problems which tends to aggravate uh, the distrust, disrespect, impatient, weariness, hurt, anger between the troubled couples and indirectly it increases the stress on any minor kids that they are parenting together. There are many hidden costs, in my opinion, of choosing um, legal divorce and getting into prolonged legal fights with ex-mates, with your ex-mate. There's a lot of hidden costs besides um, the thousands of dollars of retainers that you'll pay your lawyers to try and invoke the system to do what you two people cannot do yourselves. The biggest cost, there's no price tag to this, in my opinion, a major reason that couples don't get along with each other and can't find a way to do so is that one or both of them uh, carry psychological wounds from their childhood. I won't go into detail here on that. There are other videos that do. But if you don't focus on assessing for psychological wounds in yourself and your partner and trying to reduce the wounds that you find, the legal system will waste your time, will waste your money, will hurt your kids, will prolong your stress, and will leave you at risk if you choose to find a new partner. It will leave you at risk of re-divorce. We wounded people, for I am one, tend mysteriously to pick other wounded people as partners. When you couple that with general ignorance of the five causes of divorce, many people who marry again and again 
divorce again and again. You don't want to do that. If you have kids, you don't want to uh, subject them to another family disruption and split up. So the point I'm making here is, if you are significantly troubled, try therapy first before you hire lawyers. If you choose to do that, Look at this video, please, about selecting an effective marital therapist. There are many qualified therapists out there who don't know the real problems that cause divorce. If you spend your time and money investing in such therapists, you may have minor improvements or temporary improvements, but it will not change any psychological wounds that you have. I've never met a lawyer, a family court lawyer, who knew anything about psychological wounds, how to assess for them, and what to do about them. So, before you hire lawyers, give therapists a try, and be choosy in therapists, and pick those that know something about childhood trauma, and the wounds that causes, and how to spot them and reduce them. That is guaranteed one of the reasons that you mates are having trouble. The other major reason, my, in my experience, dealing with hundreds of couples, and having marital problems of my own, by the way, is that typical troubled couples do not know how to problem solve. They, no one has ever showed them, starting with their ancestors, their parents, and their teachers. No one has ever shown them the seven powerful, effective communication skills that you can learn in Lesson 2 in my website and in the related videos. If you learn how to problem solve, at the very least, what you can do is find an amicable way of divorcing. You do not have to fire the higher lawyers that will turn this into a four-way free-for-all and combat is face it, using the legal system to enforce your will on your partner is inherently aggressive and combative and disrespectful. It will make the relationship between the two of you worse locally and over time. If you are raising minor kids, they will suffer. So hire a therapist first and be choosy Find a therapist that knows how to assess for and help you reduce wounds from childhood trauma and hire a therapist who knows how to teach you effective problem-solving skills. If you're already having major court fights right now with your ex, either on your own or because an exasperated judge forces you to go to mediation, I offer the same heartfelt advice. If you have the, if you're able to choose a mediator, do so with one who is empathic with and knowledgeable about spotting and healing psychological wounds from childhood trauma. Also, if you can choose your mediator, pick one who is seasoned at teaching people how to communicate and problem solve and to motivate them to do this. If your parents, your kids need to learn this anyway. Um, if you don't do either of these things, I propose with compassion, and you're divorcing parents, you will incur major hidden costs that will add to your personal and co-parenting stress for years. There's no dollar value you can put on this. Delaying finding out about your wounds and reducing them. Years of distrust, hurt, anger, frustration, fighting, sniping, recurring legal battles, recurring legal expenses, arguing over the kids' visitation and custody, names, struggling with stepfamily issues, which is a whole other realm um, that I've made some videos on. 
there are many hidden costs. First, look at yourself to see if you have psychological wounds. Use Lesson 1 and the related videos to do that. Here's the link. Second, learn how to problem solve instead of fight, argue, complain, demand, lecture, avoid, numb out. Those are all popular alternatives that wounded people who don't know how to problem solve get snarled up in, and they hire lawyers to fix that who inherently cannot. Notice how you're feeling right now. I mean this constructively. I hope you consider what I've said here if you are considering divorce, especially if you're a parent, and or if you're already in a legal fight with your ex over whatever set of issues. Please consider what I've said. View Lesson 1 and Lesson 2 videos for all your sakes. Thanks.